in this video, you are gonna learn exactly how you can zoom in on your clips in iMovie. Now before I really start showing you how to do this, you need to understand that there are two different types of zooms that you can do with iMovie. The first type of zoom that you're gonna learn about is the jump cut zoom, and that's gonna look a little something like this. And the second type of zoom is gonna be the steady zoom, and that's gonna look a little something like this. I, I, I just thought it'd be cool if I used my hand on that, so yeah. Just, you don't have to use your hand when you're doing that, but anyways. So, those are two types of zooms that we're gonna learn about, and if you're ready, let's jump into it. So now we're in front of my computer, you see my computer screen right here. Now we're gonna get into the very first zoom, and that is the jump cut zoom. Now, if we look at our timeline down here, as you can see, I already split the clip into different sections. This is gonna be key in iMovie when you wanna zoom in, especially when it comes to the jump cut zoom. Now we're gonna find exactly where we want our first zoom to happen. And if we play, I believe it is on this clip. So let's see. Yep. That is exactly the clip where we wanna start our jump cut zoom. So we're gonna select that and we're gonna zoom in a little bit just to make it a little easier to see. All right, now we gotta see exactly where we want the zoom to happen. So, boom. This is where I want my zoom to happen. So I am gonna have to split the clip again exactly where I want the zoom to happen. So I'm gonna press Command B and get that split to happen right there because I want the zoom to start right here. Now we're gonna select this clip again. And now that we have that selected, we are ready to actually start zooming in on this clip. Now in iMovie, to get this jump cut zoom, all you have to do is come up to our cropping tool over here, click on that, and as you can see, the default style is usually fit. And when we want that jump cut zoom, we're gonna click crop to fill. So we click on crop to fill. When you do that, you'll see a white border appear around the clip that we have right here. With this box, we can come to the corners and actually crop in this box so that we have a new selection for this clip. If we take a closer look at this, you'll see that the outside of the square is dark and inside is light. The outside part is not gonna be seen when you play your video. The inside part is the only thing that's gonna be seen. And the good thing about this rectangle is that we can move it around wherever we want on our clip. So I wanna zoom in closer to my face. So I'm gonna make the square a lot smaller and that looks about good. So when you crop your rectangle exactly how you want it cropped, it's not gonna look like anything zoomed in yet. But from here, you're gonna wanna come all the way to the right side, click on this blue check mark, and then as you can see, it is now zoomed in. So if we play this clip again and see what happens. Boom, as you can see, I had that quick zoom that we were looking for. So if I look at it again, that looks how I want it to look. However, if I wanted to make any changes, all I have to do is make sure that the clip is highlighted, come back to the cropping tool, and when you click on the cropping tool, as you can see, you have the freedom to edit it however you want again. And then when you're done making your adjustments, always be sure to click on the blue check mark. Boom, zoomed in exactly how we want it. Now we're gonna move on to the second type of zoom, and that is that steady zoom that you saw in the intro. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna come find our spot exactly where we want that zoom to start and where we want it to stop. So, let's see. Boom, I want it to start right there. And we're gonna, boom. All right, and we're gonna clip it right there, just so that's where we know where we want it to stop. Again, you need to make sure that the clip that you want to start zooming in on is highlighted, so we're gonna make sure that's highlighted. And again, we're gonna come to our cropping tool. Now again, as we see, the style is fit. Unlike the previous type of zoom, we're gonna use Ken Burns for this. We're not gonna use crop to fill. We are gonna click on Ken Burns. So when we click on Ken Burns, we're gonna notice that two squares appear now. So crop to fill only gives you one square to adjust. Ken Burns gives you two squares to adjust. And if we take a closer look at these squares, one is gonna say start, 
and another is gonna say end. So when you adjust these squares, the start square is gonna be where this clip starts and the end square is gonna be where the clip ends on the zoom. So in this case, we want the zoom to start at full screen. So I'm not gonna to touch the outer square at all. But we want the end zoom to be a lot closer to my face. So what you do, you click on the end square and now that's gonna, as you can see, it's switched and we can actually start to crop this square now. So we're gonna do that and And as you can see, as you adjust the square and move it around, you'll have a little arrow right here. This arrow is going to show the direction that the movement is going to occur in. So because I had to move the square up a little bit, that is how the movement is going to occur. And once you have both squares cropped exactly how you want it to be cropped, all you have to do, come back up to our blue check mark, click on the blue check mark. And if we come to the beginning of the clip and press play, see what happens. As you can see, we had that steady zoom throughout the entire section of that clip that we selected. So let's look at it one more time. That's exactly the type of zoom that we were looking for and that's exactly how you do it. Now say you wanted to zoom out instead of zooming in on a clip. Well, in iMovie, this is just as easy as it was to zoom in. So we're gonna use our same clip as the example. So we're gonna highlight that, come back to our cropping tool Ken Burns is already selected. If we wanted to switch the start and end squares, all we would have to do is make one simple change. And that is to come over here and click on this double arrow. This arrow is gonna flip both of these boxes. So if we click on that, as you can see, the start box is now the smaller box and the end box is at the end. So if we see what this looks like, you're gonna see, there you go. That is how you zoom out when it comes to iMovie. And there you have it. That is how you can zoom in on your clips in iMovie. Now, if this is a video that you found to be extremely helpful and useful, be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to hit that subscribe button because there's gonna be even more tutorials like this coming out soon. And be sure to leave a comment below if you have any types of questions about how to zoom in on your clips in iMovie. And other than that, I don't have anything else for you. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Thank you.